how to take a brain injury claim. So as I've discussed, a catastrophic brain injury can arise from a personal injury type case, such as a road traffic accident or a workplace injury, or maybe the result of medical negligence, such as negligent obstetric care or a surgical procedure. So if the injury was caused by the negligence or failure of someone else to take proper care, then you may have a case uh, to bring uh, to receive financial compensation. And the injured person is called the plaintiff. And one of the first things a plaintiff solicitor will need to obtain is an expert report, which sets out precisely how the brain injury arose and that it was the result of another party's negligence. Now, the specialty of the expert will depend on how the injury arose. For example, if the injury arose as a result of a personal injuries type case, such as a road traffic accident, that expert will be a specialist engineer. Or if the injury arose as a result of medical negligence uh, during surgery, for example, the expert might be a neurosurgeon. So a number of reports from experts of varying professions may be required um, before liability and negligence can be established. So proceedings for catastrophic brain injury claims are issued in the High Court. Uh, the person or party who is alleged to have caused the injury is called the defendant. And when proceedings have issued, the defendant's lawyers will obtain their own expert report, uh, which comment on issues of liability and negligence. Um, to facilitate further investigation, the solicitors for the defendant will request the plaintiff solicitor uh, to issue them with a copy of relevant medical records and any other uh, records that are relevant to the accident. And this process is called discovery. So broadly speaking, there are three main categories of reports uh, that your solicitor will obtain for the purposes of building your case. Uh, the first category of expert reports are in relation to liability and causation. The second category of reports are medical reports and they are obtained from your treating doctors. So it's not unusual to have reports from your GP, uh, a, a neurologist, a neurosurgeon, a speech therapist, a psychologist, or a neuropsychologist. The third category of reports are quantum reports, which comment on matters such as future loss of earnings and the future cost of care. And these reports are for the purpose of calculating the bulk of the value of your claim for compensation. So under this uh, category, um, uh, it, it may include, for example, occupational therapists, care and rehabilitation consultants, maybe a housing expert, a vocational assessor, and uh, an actuary's report. So the defendant will typically obtain like-for-like um, -for -like expert reports, and they will also ascertain your past and future needs. Um, the vast majority of cases uh, end up settling outside of the courtroom. And if the case does go to trial, the judge will hear evidence from each party and each of the party's expert witnesses. The judge will then decide whether or not to make an award. So if you are aged 18 years or over, you only have two years from the date of your injury to lodge your claim. Although there are limited exceptions to this rule. Now, if the injured party is under 18, time begins to run from their 18th birthday. So if you or a loved one uh, have suffered a brain injury, please feel free to direct message me or contact the office for a one-to-one -one consultation. Thank you.